Hello everyone, Fizgus here. Welcome to another tutorial. In this one we'll be covering the cruise page, which is a tool that will help you get your steer points at the assigned time, as well as assist you optimize your fuel consumption. This tutorial is not intended to be an extensive explanation about the cruise page and its associated systems, but I believe that if you follow this tutorial, you'll be able to use the cruise page effectively. Let's get into it. The cruise time over steer point, or TOS mode, will help you arrive at the next steer point at the desired time. On the ICP, press 5 to access the cruise page. The TOS page should be the default subpage. If it's not, press the sequence on the ICP rocker until the TOS page is present. System is the current system time. DES TOS is the desired time at which you should arrive at the selected steer point. ETA is the time at which, with the current flying conditions, you will arrive at the selected steer point. RQD GS is the required ground speed to arrive at the selected steer point at the desired time. With the cruise TOS subpage selected, if you press 0 on the ICP, you will see on your airspeed tape a carrot. Manage your airspeed to match the carrot and you will arrive on the selected steer point on time. The range cruise option, RNG, will help you manage your fuel consumption at your current altitude. If you press 0 on the ICP with the RNG page selected, a carrot will be placed on your airspeed tape as before. Again, match the carrot and you'll be at an airspeed that will be the best to maximize your fuel at the current altitude. Keep in mind that fuel consumption varies depending on altitude. The home cruise option will help you manage your fuel consumption on your way back to base. If you press 0 on the ICP with the home page selected and the home steer point selected or any required destination, two carrots will appear, one along the airspeed tape and the other along your altitude tape. The BMS manual suggests adding mill power to match the airspeed carrot first if needed, then perform altitude changes while managing your airspeed as needed. Once both carrots are matched, you are at the best airspeed and altitude to arrive home with the most amount of fuel. The Endurance Cruise option, or EDR, is similar to the RNG Cruise option, as it will allow you to optimize your fuel consumption at your current altitude. However, the EDR Cruise option will have more information present. The time until your fuel state reaches the selected bingo value, also, it will show the optimum Mach number for fuel endurance at the selected altitude. The BMS manual indicates that this cruise option is best used during holding patterns, for example. With the EDR page selected, press 0 on the ICP, and as before, a carrot will be placed on your airspeed tape. Match the carrot to optimize fuel consumption. And there we have it. These are the options or submodes in the cruise page. It's important to note that if you were using an option already, before activating a different one, you should disable the one previously in use, or you might receive incorrect indications from the carrot. I hope this tutorial was helpful, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.